Hi Aquarius, welcome to your Love Connection love connection reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this will be a Love Connection reading, a connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. So however, however that is for you, you could be single, broken up, an ex, whatever your situation is, but you do actually have to know this person. If you are single, I do also offer a singles reading um, on the channel if you're new um, and that's more for people who are wondering when they're going to find new love on the next incoming person but you're welcome to watch that too that may resonate so uh, your links are below in the description box for your love and general readings if you'd like to check those out so this is for sun moon rising venus and uh, male or female it's a general collective reading not a private reading so please only take it how it resonates for you if it's not resonating it's not your reading please don't try to make it fit Hold out for the next reading, or you can go back and watch past readings. Uh, I do consider them timeless. Um, it can be past, present, or future. You can interchange, swap the energies whenever you see fit. And what else? I think that's about it. So welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's staying, staying safe, <laughs> safe and healthy at this time. So Aquarius, let's see what we have for you. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. So we get a sign, element, or planet. See how that affects your reading if you're not dealing with whatever comes out here that's totally fine and then with this deck here we'll get an opening uh, energy for your love connection and then I'll get one for you one for your person how you're feeling about each other and the connection and one for the mutual energy then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot look at the situation advice guidance possible outcome energies at the bottom of the deck and then we'll get some angel answers at the end for more clarification so let's see what we have for Aquarius and everything you need to know Aquarius is down below in the description box so you can check that out how to book a personal reading uh, decks I'm using social media if you're new um, please subscribe if you like to hit the bell you won't miss out you get about four to five readings a month and they're all different so check it out if you like to and if you do thank you and welcome to the family all right Aquarius let's see what we have for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus male or female general collective all right, what do we have for Aquarius? Sign, element, or planet? For Aquarius, spirit, please. I'm feeling that one. And we have Sagittarius. So some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius, someone rising or Venus. If not, that's totally fine. Sagittarius does represent two cards in the major arcana. One is temperance and one is the wheel of fortune. So temperance is about healing, patience, balance, Peace and harmony and the Wheel of Fortune is divinely guided energy. It's fate, destiny, things going in the right direction, things getting better. You know, the wheel finally turning in your direction. And nine, Sagittarius is nine, is about um, completions, cycles. Nine is about coming to an ending or a completion of some sort. So we'll see how that energy plays out for you, Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. If I say the sign of the person you are dealing with, then that would be good. But if not, totally fine. It's all just energy. So either you resonate or you don't. It doesn't matter. I do say the signs. People like to hear the signs. So that's why. All right. So let's get an opening energy. Opening energy for you, Aquarius. On you and your love connection, whoever you're thinking about. Wow, at this time, that's two. I only want one. One for Aquarius and their person, whoever they're thinking about at this time for this connection. What is the opening energy? So we have the secret. So somebody could have a secret in this connection. Um, this is about a secret being revealed, knowing the secret, um, the secret of this connection. And, oh, I didn't notice there's a face on that card. So, something may be coming to light here. Somebody's either keeping a secret or keeping this relationship a secret, or you're both in the energy of not telling anyone about this connection, keeping it a secret. Or the universe is about to reveal to you the secret about this connection, what kind of connection it truly is. So we get into the um, tarot, get more cards here, see what the secret is about, you Aquarius. All right, so let's get one for Aquarius. Okay, I'm feeling this one. One for their person, how it was Aquarius. Thank you. Let's take the bottom of the deck for the mutual energy. 
Let's see what we have here for you, Aquarius. So how you are feeling, again, you can interchange these energies how you see fit. But I'm going to call this side you, Aquarius. So we have color. So, I mean, this card speaks about paying attention to the colors around you, the colors you're drawn to, looking up the colors' uh, meanings, uh, why you're drawn to that color, um, and that kind of energy. But something that was in black and white before may be coming into color now. So what you couldn't see clearly, again, with the secret here. So what you couldn't see clearly or what wasn't totally illuminated to you now be now may, may be coming forth in uh, true color. Or maybe you're finally seeing the true colors of this person. Hmm, maybe they're harboring a secret or vice versa. And now someone is seeing the other's true colors. Hmm, we'll see. And they have transformation. So... And that could be, you know, healing, transformation. They could be transforming uh, out of a situation. They could be overcoming something, uh, an addiction, obsession, um, healing themselves, or getting out of a situation and transforming themselves. So we'll see. There's some sort of transformation on their part. Or they see this relationship as transforming into something more. Or they want it to. You see the sun here, which is about healing. You know, it's a very positive energy. They could be transforming just for you, something in their life just for you, transforming out of a situation. But let's see what the mutual energy is. Judgment. So, yeah, needing to make, needing to make a final judgment call. We do have, like, the star and the sun energy here. This reminds me of the star energy. So both needing to make a judgment call on this. So they, someone here could be making a judgment call whether or not to reveal a secret about themselves. Then the other person will have to make a judgment call about this person, what they want to do with this information. Can we transform this? Can we keep moving on or what? So, wow. So, I mean, as for their energy with transformation... They could be making a decision to tell you, you know, about whatever they're going through, transforming from, recovering from, going through. Maybe they've been keeping it secret. So now you're seeing the true colors of them or a situation that was kept secret. Now there's a judgment call. Wow. Wow. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see what's going on here. But the sun is good energy and the star is about being, you know... And, you know, that isn't the star card, but it has the star on it, which is about faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, healing energy, um, divinely guided energy. The sun is the most positive card in the deck. Happiness, joy, success, victory, healing, enlightenment, a happy home and family, you know, and transformation. So let's see what all this is about for you, Aquarius. What is going on here for you, Aquarius? Aquarius, you are the star. And there's a star right there. <laughs> wow. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. So we got the Five of Swords coming out in your energy. Let's get one more for your energy for Aquarius. Five of Wands. Wow. Five of Swords, Five of Wands. Wow. So let's get two for your person. So we have the Two of Cups. And now we have the Queen of Wands. So... On your side here, you have a lot of conflict about this, either about this person or whatever they're about to reveal to you or whatever they have revealed to you. Um, you don't know whether or not to give up on this or keep fighting for this. You're very conflicted. There could have been a lot of fight arguments, conflict with them also, or outer interference, others interfering also in this. So it's a, I feel like a lot of energy here, a lot of energy with you not knowing what to do with this information now, with the secret, um, having that inner conflict. Maybe, you you know, you talk to people around you and now there's like an upheaval of, you know, the energy around you also. So now you're in the energy of like, I just don't know if it's even worth it anymore. You know, because five, five is a major change and challenge. Ten together, ten is about an ending or a completion. But then there's always a new beginning. So, but your person here, 
is the Queen of Wands, which can be Aries. Doesn't have to be, but it is fire, which is that Sagittarius. So they could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be, but king or queen here, a wands, is someone who's very uh, strong, courageous, and brave. They're a go-getter. They're very passionate, creative. Two of cups here, soulmate union. So this person, whatever they've gone through, whatever secret they've been keeping, whatever they're transforming, transforming themselves or out of or whatever here, they definitely have a lot of fire and passion for you, and they definitely want this soulmate union with you. So I feel like they're willing to reveal everything to you so that they can have this with you, but now you just don't know what to do with this. You're like, just everything around you is like chaos, like the inner you, the outer you, the energy around you, about them. It's like all this information and now all the true colors of this has got you in this energy of like total chaos, I feel. But they feel so fiery and passionate about you that they want wanted to reveal everything to you because they want this with you. They definitely feel you as a soulmate. They want this soulmate union with you. But now a judgment has to be made between the two of you. All right, so let's get to... I don't know what this secret could have been. It could have been, you know, two of cups. Maybe they had an addiction. Um, you know, maybe they were in another relationship. Um, energy here. All right, so let's see. Four of Pentacles, yeah, holding back from one another. Holding back on your side, so you can hold them back from them. Six of Swords, they just want to sail away to a better place with you, but you're holding back from them right now because of all the chaos now from everything coming to light, whatever that was, whatever came into full color was revealed, whatever the secret was here. You know, there is an energy of them wanting to move forward with you, but you're holding back from them because of all this energy. Wow. They just want to, you know, they're going to a better place, I feel, and they want to go to that place with you. But you don't, you just don't know what to do with this, whatever this was, that secret, revelation, whatever here, uh, you just don't know what to do with this now. I feel total chaos on your end, Aquarius. Oh boy. Okay. So, wow. So let's see. We got uh, Virgo energy here with the Hermit, the actual situation. So you're thinking about this. I feel like, again, you withdrew your energy from them. You're thinking long and hard about this situation now, doing, you know, deep, deep introspection. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're feeling like, I don't know if I can overcome this information <laughs> that you just received the secret or whatever it was here some reason uh it could have been a secret about ending with them uh, in some way shape or form or you're like i just don't know if i can overcome this you know i think it's just over now wow what else magician so i feel like yeah they're wanting to manifest this brand new beginning with you so now we have um, Gemini Virgo with the Magician. What else? Seven of Wands. So they want to fight for this. They want to fight for this soulmate connection. They have so much love and passion for you. They want to manifest this new beginning with you. They may have been defensive before in the past because maybe you felt like they were hiding something. But now that all is revealed, what, whatever that was, I, I don't, you're in the energy of like, I just don't think I can overcome this big revelation. I just, that's what I'm getting. Wow. Okay. So let's see what the else here for the actual situation. I don't know what their secret was, but maybe um, we can get a little information on that. Let's see a couple more here. So there's your energy, Aquarius. I feel like they go this way. So here's your energy, Aquarius, on their side. So again, they feel you as a wish, a dream come true, faith, the, trying to remain, you know, faith, hope, optimism. You're the wish, the dream come true. They feel divinely guided, drawn to you, a lot of healing energy. They've done a lot of healing work too, but whatever the secret was, whatever they overcame, I don't know. It's like you can't get over it. 
because it's like I don't even think I want to accept this offer. I don't want to look at it um, anymore. But they want you to have faith, hope, and optimism about the situation. All right, so let's see what um, what is the secret. So we can get some energy about whatever the secret was that was revealed. So stress, fear, worry, anxiety. Maybe they had have some mental issues. Um, maybe you know they have a deep tendency for deep depression, anxiety. Uh, maybe like bipolar or you know like mental issues. But I feel like they're trying to overcome that. So maybe, you know, their energy has been really back and forth before. They were happy, you know, and go lucky and, you know, feeling victorious. And the next minute they're depressed. They're, you know, stressed out. They're anxious. They withdraw their energy. And maybe they, you know, refuse help in some way. But we do have success, victory here, and an offer coming in in the Ten of Cups, happy home and family. So I feel like whatever... I'm feeling like an, an emotional or um, kind of a either problem or disorder, but for some reason you're feeling like, because maybe their energy has been so back and forth in the past, um, you know, and maybe when they got into a low, low energy, you know, it wasn't good. Maybe their goods, their highs were good and their lows were like really, really bad. And now that you understand, you're like, I don't know if I can deal with this energy moving forward, you know, with this up and down energy. But I feel like they're trying hard to overcome this, and they definitely want to move this forward with you. Uh, so let's see. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's get advice guidance for you. Or maybe they have the energy where one minute they want this and then one minute there's they're like really fearful of it. So again, that back and forth um, kind of mental energy. So maybe, you know, they have a lot of energies mentally they have to even out, whether it's, you know, getting medical help. Let's see, advice or guidance. So we have the fool, we have the hangman, and we have the four of swords. So this is about taking a new leap of faith. Starting over, starting fresh, starting from zero. We have the hang... So that's um, Aquarius. It's your energy. Pisces here with the hanged man. It's about taking a pause, a break, reflecting, gaining new perspectives here, being enlightened. And then we have the Four of Swords, which again, it's about healing, resting, rejuvenating, kind of an energy. So I feel like the advice here is still to, you know, really... I feel like, again, becoming enlightened... And this hangman energy. And now realizing, you know, what the fool there, maybe they've done a lot of foolish things in the past. And now it explains. And now you're like, okay, am I going to have to deal with this for the rest of my life? This up and down energy. When it's bad, it's bad. When it's good, it's good. Back and forth, back and forth. I just don't know. I mean, that may not resonate for everybody. If it's not that, it could be other issues of why they're back and forth. But it's like, do I really want to... You, your eyes should see it as foolish energy. Do I really want to deal with that? So really thinking long and hard about this, if this is something you can move forward with and deal with in the future. All right, what else here for the advice? What else the advice? Well, we do have commitment here. We do have commitment. Faith, hope, optimism, religion, spirituality, higher levels of understanding, education, so maybe, you know, there needs to be a deep understanding of whatever the situation is, whatever they overcame or trying to overcome or whatever their issues are, getting more knowledge, information, you know, higher learning, understanding of what they're going through, you know, whatever here so that you can understand it and really think and pause and reflect on it. So you're able to make a judgment call here, whether you want this uh, new leap of faith or to take this leap of faith further with this person. We do have the sun here again, so... What else here for the advice? The advice for Aquarius. Well, there's a brand new beginning. Divinely gifted here. Growth, abundance, firm foundation. Moving forward for the long term. So I feel like this person does want long term with you. You may want it with them. But whatever this was that came to light, 
I feel like you're having a very, very hard time with this. But I feel with higher levels of learning, education, understanding um, here, there can be energy here for a long-term commitment, you know, and growth, stability moving forward. So it's divinely gifted here. So let's see advice, guidance from source. So let's see uh, what the possible outcome could be here for you, Aquarius. Possible outcome for Aquarius. Well, three of swords, so broken heart. So somebody... So we have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the King of Swords. So... I feel like somebody's going to come forward here offering, you know, their love, wanting a commitment. Within the King of Swords energy here can be Gemini, but that King or Queen can be your energy. It's air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So somebody may come forward here with an offer of love, commitment, marriage, proposal, you know, moving it together, whatever here. But I feel like somebody's going to cut the other out and leave them with a broken heart, unfortunately, because they just can't deal I don't know, it's just too much to deal with, I feel, either for you or a feeling for you, Aquarius. I feel like whatever this situation was, you know, there is an opportunity here for, you know, fully understanding higher levels of learning and, and that energy and having the commitment kind of energy, love and affection moving forward. But with the King of Swords here and the Three of Swords, I feel like somebody's going to probably say, no, sorry, I can't deal with this and leave the other one with a broken heart, unfortunately. I mean, to go all through this and get this energy, but it is what it is. So let's get five from the bottom and see what we get. So we have the Knight of Swords. So somebody's rushing in here. We do have the Moon in reverse. So again, there's the secrets coming to light. I don't even know how that got reversed. So there's a, a Cancer of Pisces energy. And then we have the Knight of Swords, which can be Aquarius, your energy. Now we have the King of Wands, which can be Sagittarius, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So again, I feel like here's the secrets coming to light. It's somebody rushing in, revealing all. Here's the communication, you know, taking swift action, wanting to come in, offer their pentacle. Is that feeling fiery, passionate for the other? Is that fire energy, Sagittarius? You know, wanting to offer, you know, their long-term commitments, you know, stable energy, rushing in here with their secrets for the future. But I feel like, let's get one more. And that's the Hierophant. Is that the Hierophant? Yeah, I believe that's the Hierophant. So here's, again, wanting commitment, wanting commitment. And we do have the world and the wheel. So again, closures, full circle, New ending cycles, new cycles, and divinely guided energy with the wheel. So we have over here with the world, we have Leo, Aqua, Taurus, Scorpio, and then Sagittarius with the wheel. Again, coming in and offering their pentacle, wanting this, feeling like it's faded, divine, you know, energy. Wanting a whole new cycle here and offering a pentacle, but I feel like somebody may blow it up here. Aries energy may blow this up. So, I mean, the energy is here, Temperance Angel bringing in the soulmates together to work on this, to bring peace, harmony, and balance. So the energy is here to work on it. Do we want this fiery, passionate new beginning? Or are we going to leave them out in the cold and say, no, sorry, I can't deal with it? So ultimately, now we've got the Queen of Swords and the King. We have Sagittarius over here again. So the Queen of Swords here can be Libra, but we do have a matching couple. So this is soulmate energy. But again, you know, Queen of Swords could be you, someone that feels like you've been hurt enough by this in and out energy or, you know, whatever they've been through, their emotional highs, their low lows. It's just too much. Cutting it out. I can't. Releasing the burden of this. I just can't. Just can't. So some of you, unfortunately, I feel like uh, after they reveal why they do what they do, um may turn them away. Some of you may decide to work on it and, you know, really learn about why, you know, whatever their problem is, whatever they've been doing. I'm feeling more of like uh, very, I mean, they could be bipolar or just have um, OCD or they could be, you know, something here where 
it's just like too much. It's too much. It's almost like I'm getting like as good as it gets the movie. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but that's the kind of energy I'm getting for some of you. So that may or may not resonate. All right. So we've got a lot of cards here. So let's get some, oh, let's get some overall energy here. This weight and helpful people. Again, I feel like weight, instead of using that sword to cut them out, weight, helpful people getting advice, guidance, knowledge, understanding before we make any rash decisions. That's kind of what I'm feeling with that, Aquarius. All right, so what else for Aquarius? Yes. So that's yes for some of you with an exclamation point that there can be balance, peace, harmony, um, higher levels of understanding and working on this together. And don't stop. So it's telling don't stop here. And no need to worry. So some of you, I feel like if you put in the work, time, effort, maybe it has been work with this person, understanding, uh, you know, getting them help, you know, and supporting them, that this could this could work out. Because in the end, as good as it gets, it did it did work out for them in the end, I believe. It's been a while since I've seen that movie, but ultimately it'll be up to you, Aquarius, if you want to um, stick this out or turn your back. Okay, well, I hope that resonated. Take it how it resonates for you. Again, may not resonate with everybody. That's kind of the energy I see. So best of luck to you, Aquarius. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I always say is to always, always shine your light.